Meanwhile, DFL Governor Tim Walz outlined his plans for public safety prior to the start of the legislative session. It's not enough to wring your hands and say it's unacceptable for crime. Of course it's unacceptable. The victims of crime across the board deserve better, but to simply say that and not use proven data and proven ways of doing it doesn't get us there. The governor announced on Wednesday his initiatives, which includes giving $300 million to cities, counties, and tribes over the next three years to address public safety needs. He also suggested offering retention incentives for law enforcement, student loan financing, and an advertising campaign aimed at getting more people to choose law enforcement as a career. Plymouth Public Safety Director Eric Fadden says the governor and his staff have met with him and other local police chiefs to get their feedback on how to reduce violent crime. Fadden said we believe the conversations go beyond just the money, but are pleased and grateful for this start in the right direction. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.